Hello and welcome everyone. I am Vangelis. I'm an application manager at Libis. I work for Alma. Now that you're a little bit more familiar with the Spinomatic Cloud app, it's time to jump into a real use case. But first, let me point out that all the templates and the layouts that you see in those videos are indicative. So not only the dimensions of the labels or the contents of the labels differ from institution from one institution to another but they also differ from a printer to another so you might have different use cases within your institution uh, but other than that I hope that this video will help you to see and really conceptualize the workflow of this cloud app so let's just jump into it we're in the Q11 sandbox we want to perform a physical search to see the item, see the use case. So this is our use case and let me zoom in a little bit so that you have a better view of it. This is a book from uh, Samuel van Hoogstraten uh, and this is the uh, physical item in Alma. So in our use case we want to print the permanent location so as you have seen in the previous videos or as you may already do within your institution we need to use a label prefix for that uh, and we want to abbreviate this description for the permanent location so the look art history stack room for the spine label and also we want to print the call number in the spine label specifically we want to add a new line we want to have a new line to have a line break between all those parts and in the next video of course by the same token we're going to print out a barcode label for this use case so for the sake of time you can see already that one cloud app is suggested for this page so to print a label for this specific physical item so for the sake of time, I've already prepared a template. You can just click on expand. Just remember, we can access all the cloud apps in the cloud app center. And then we click in the activate app section on Spinomatic. I expand my view to have better view of what is going on with the cloud app. I click on configurations and then I need to create a template. We have already created the template. You can watch the previous video for the introduction to see how you can add a new template. So this is the Spinable template and I'm going to explain it. So as we said, we need a label prefix to display the location of this specific item and we need the parsed code number that we can find in the add field section. The parsed code number to display the code number of the physical item. I want to display my prefix in bold, so I have bolded it out. And I want to display all of my contents in the middle, so I have aligned it centrally. My contents, they have the Arial style font, and they have the 18 font size. I don't have any color, I don't have any table added. So, what I need to do is to apply some extra formatting so for my label prefix I need to match the permanent location of this specific item to the abbreviation so the text that I want to display on my label and let's just open a new window So this is the item. As I said before, I want to display the permanent location and I can do this through the label prefix. I need to apply some extra formatting in the other option section. So what I practically did is that I accessed the label prefixes by clicking on this arrow and I added this specific label prefix. But let's just do it all over again. No problem. So this is a specific library the library is the Q11 Artist University Library. So 
so let's just search for it artist university library the specific collection the location is as we saw look art history and for all of the items all of the physical items that come from this specific collection I want to abbreviate so I want to assign them with the text look I click OK and then I have my label prefix and then I have my call number as I said before I want to display its subfield from the call number that is located in the holding section so this is my call number I can also search in the holdings as you can see in the holdings we have the call number in the 852 field so what you can see here is that we display the subfield H, subfield I, subfield L, and subfield M. And I want each one of these subfields to be displayed in a different line. So let's just open again the same view. So what I will do is that I will go in the other options, click on the call number, and choose of course this option to have line breaks between the call number parts and choose this option so 852 subfields this will add a line break for each subfield in my call number and I close this I save my template I access the layout section and I have already created a layout so this is my layout as you can see here, the measurement units are set to centimeters. I have limited the top and the left margin to 0, 1. The same happens for the horizontal gap and the vertical gap. The left padding set to 0 or blank, it's the same. I have limited the labels per page to 1. The page width I always leave it as default. The orientation, as you can see, is portrait. And then the most important one, the label width is set to 8 and the label height is set to 4.1. Uh, let me just say to you again, let me just remind you that this will change from one printer to another. So this is just indicative to display my label contents now. I save my layout. I can see also the preview here. So I can see that they are going to be displayed. My label contents are going to be displayed in the middle of the label. I click save and I go back I perform a physical item search from the beginning just need to remember it has to be a physical item search it can be based on keywords or based on the barcode uh, in this case we choose the keyword but let's just choose the barcode it's the same because we use the barcode so we can see here that a cloud app is suggested for this page we click on it we click on Spinomatic, we check this specific option because we want to print a label for this item. We choose of course the select items option. We click next and here we choose a layout. It's a spine labels layout and it's the spine label template. No offset. I want to print the grid line so just to see the preview and how does the content of my label fit in the printer I click print labels and I'm transferred to the printer configurations I need to be sure that the destination in the destination I have assigned the right printer so this is based on the GX420 printer but your printer might be different for example in KU Lever for these specific labels they use uh, TLP2844 uh, from Zebra uh, and this is also a topic, the standardization between the LibresNet partners. So there are many different use cases and this is something that we need to look into. I set the layout to portrait, which is already the default. No uh, adjustment of the paper size. Uh, margins 
I make sure that they're set to none and I make sure that there are also no background graphics I see I can't see I can't see as I said that the content fits quite well not ideally but quite well these grid lines give me the perception of how big is the label so the label height is shown by these grid lines on the top and the bottom and the label width is shown by these grid lines on the left and the right of the contents so in this specific case I would probably have to increase my label height because I can see that I have even more space to display my label content but this is up to you and then as soon as I feel sure about it I just click print if the print is completed I can just say that yes and this will help Spinomatic to clear and start over so I will not have the label saved but if they were not printed successfully then I would probably have to click no so the same settings are saved so the same label would be printed if I just click again print labels one thing that I want to stress out is that as soon as I'm sure that this label is going to be printed well is as I want it I just press cancel I go back and I deactivate the print, print guidelines option and I click print again so that I will not have the grid lines in my printed version so as I said I click print yes it's um, it's uh, printed successfully no it's not printed successfully and I would have to probably go back to my printers configurations first and check okay maybe di didn't I set the margins to um, to none or did I include background graphics and so on and then probably I would have to see the dimensions of the layout and the template change some things so this is kind of a trial error process so I hope that with this video I help you to understand a little bit better how can you actually print spine labels with Spinomatic but in any case I'm here to guide you I'm here to help and I know that each institution has different needs so we can work on that and facilitate uh, the efficiency of your label printing so until the next time as I always tend to say just be safe bye bye